All right, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset Era. Woohoo! We! All right, we are bringing back Baby, Baby metal. metal. And this time we are checking out Ijime Dame Zetai. And we were smart enough to look some translations up <clears throat> just yep. so we don't look like complete morons on these reaction videos. What does this mean? In short, hey bystanders, sometimes you get hurt, sometimes you hurt someone, and we all get badly hurt. Say never to bullying. Don't be bystanders. Okay, so that's kind of like their theme of the song. Yep. <clears throat> and we were just commenting off camera about how wholesome that was. Yep. Bullying, no, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so it's always nice to see them having like a wholesome thing. <laughs> we were joking that we're going to like next one is going to be like, make sure you go to bed on time. And what was the other one? Do your laundry. <laughs> yeah. Brush your teeth. Make sure you brush your teeth. If not get in any cavities. But they'll make it cool and make it all speed metal me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, some of these comments, uh, we're looking at a little rough translation. Some of it says, dreaming, I couldn't even it. So, I mean, I know that their language is written in a different way. Mm -hmm. uh, Between the light and the darkness, I stayed alone. To those who got hurt were only I myself, but also those who kept on watching me, it was you. Confidence, have it. Couldn't have, don't be beaten. Kept on hiding, I dislike to be found. Until yesterday, yesterday is gone, but goodbye to yesterday's myself. So <clears throat> I know that's a little rough in English, but I think I get the point. You know, not only are we saying no to bullying, but also a little bit more about self, uh, self appreciation, self confidence. Yeah, I think is another um, great thing to promote. The video that we have chosen and that was suggested was live at Sonosphere 2014 in the UK. Yep. Video looks immaculate. I'm very excited to check this one out. It's in a different setting, so we were talking about that too off camera. It's nice to see them in the natural uh, natural light, being outside, outdoors. Nice bright sunny day or somewhat sunny. Light lighting looks really nice out here we're used to seeing them under huge neon lights all the time yeah. and under fog so it's really cool to see them in this different venue baby middle headline and this is back in 2016 yeah april 2nd 2016 <clears throat> they were going to headline Wembley oh wait Radio. Yeah, we'll headline Wembley yeah. Radio, I think. yeah this footage is the first ever show in the uk at sonosphere 2014 okay this was released and it was released in 2015 Great. 16 million views in eight years holy crap feel like the commenter what did the commenter say was i think it was basically i can't believe you guys haven't done this one it's like a really big one for baby metal i think so. it was actually their day it just said in the description it was their debut single uh a debut i think maybe it's a debut for the uk audience and they didn't know what to think of them at first so that think let me know if that's correct i think that's what some of you have said about this particular performance and there were multiple of you who suggested this one let's check out the comments real quick what do we got here i am grateful to the crowd for being open-minded and giving them a chance so that kind of leads to what i believe that was yeah. said about this was they were like if you're in the uk yeah. Jeez, right first concert outside of japan and in front of what was like 50,000 people, the amount of courage and strength to go out there at that age and show the world who you are, that is what makes Baby Metal special to me. And just look at them now. Watching them turn the crowd is one of the most beautiful things I've ever witnessed. A deeply moving moment in music in general. Okay. Let's see them turn it on. Yeah, we got to. It's going to be fun. We got to. We got to. Because they're not going to know, right? They're going right? to. It's like reacting to someone who's reacting to them in person for the first time. Right? <laughs> We're going to react to some reactions. We're reacting to audience reactions. This is cool. I like this. <laughs> All right. So we're going to jump into this one. Yep. For anyone jumping in with us for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. And if you're new to the channel, Make sure you go and subscribe and hit the like. And uh, while you're on our channel, go check out our playlist. We have an enormous playlist of baby metal reactions on top of Bandmade, on top of Love Bites, on top of VOB, on top of so many others. Make sure you check out our channel. If you like these videos, there's more where that came from. But if you're not new, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for the glorious, the epic. Tri all right. I think we landed. I think we landed. Without further ado, Baby Metal, and how did you say it? Ishime Dame Zetai. Love it. Live at Sonosphere, 2014, UK audience experiencing Baby Metal for the very first time.
Okay, and it's got the UK flag. <laughs> remind you of like basically anyone who goes to ollie's right because like with, between ollie's like they'll play like pop music and stuff and like the goofiest songs and they'll be goofing around like this between our like, <laughs> and then the heavy stuff comes in and, and then they're like loose. Bur like losing their minds and fun there's a there's a uh japanese flag in the crowd so there's got to be a couple of fans a couple of right. fans there yeah well, I think there was bound to be fans already. Oh, I'm and, sure. Oh, yeah, for but, sure. But after this show... But, I mean, this is kind of early. Yeah. So there may not be... They but, made fans more than they actually had probably, fans. Probably, yeah. At least in the UK at this yeah. point. And that, I think that's a common sentiment amongst most fans who have recommended this. It's like a piano part, just a backtrack. And these guys rolling around like they're listening to hardcore. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wow. They're not on a trampoline, son. That's not going to work well. gonna happen the mix on this is really good oh they're just running yeah What's happening right here the guitar playing uh, obviously there's a cool lead part here but uh, i always like to point out really tight rhythm mm -hmm. and listen to the rhythm it's so so tight i just love it it's t that kind of that kind of stuff can be taxing and it's very it's very easy to get it wrong uh it, it takes a long time to be a good type uh, rhythm player so even though he may even though rhythm player may not be doing all the leads there's still a lot of talent required to play a good rhythm yeah so i think some of the best guitar players are rhythm players <clears throat> because of that there there's a lot to it i mean like there's some there's plenty of rhythm players who are capable of lead but there are yeah. some lead players who you know can't play rhythm which is who can really do sad. rhythm but their rhythm playing does not match up to their lead playing right mm -hmm. that's kind of strange but yeah, yeah listen to this I love this little shuffle right here. Yeah. It's like a blast thing. It's like a blast shuffle. All that, it's all palm muted. Oh, note for note. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
listen to that crowd <laughs> that crowd like it was like oh they were not shouting remember they started it was quiet mm -hmm. now listen to it this crowd in here yeah All that stuff. Oh, that stop of the double bass. So good. <laughs> They're like, no. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. No more bullying for okay. Yep. So we were close. No more bullying forever. Yeah. Okay. Close enough. Yes, that was incredible. Alright, let's flip wow. back over. I think we're just like 
witness baby metal history right there a little bit. Yeah. Um, I don't know where in that set. first time playing in the UK. Yeah, I don't know where in the set that was. It could have it made it look like they were left the stage at the end of the song, so I'm assuming <clears> it was the last song of their set. Maybe. But I'd be curious, uh, you know, how long their set was because, I mean, the sound here. And I, one thing I'm thinking through this entire thing is how good the sound is. Um, and I think, let me look and see. So this is on the Baby Metal channel? Yes, I guess this is their official channel. Yep. Um, sorry for the 2. audio. 2.82 million subscribers. Yeah, so this is definitely yeah, their... Yeah, even say. Yeah, so, but, but I still... When we listened to Budokan, right, mm -hmm. we heard really good sound, right? We're in a totally different country. We're in a totally different venue. And I think the sound... Totally was, different continent. Yeah, and I think the sound is better. <laughs> Uh, and it was more stripped down because they didn't have uh, a lot of the extra. I felt like the guitars were definitely there and present, but the, man, the kit sounded perfect. Sue's vocal was perfectly sitting in the mix. Whoever is their sound people? For Sonosphere? Yeah. No, whoever travels with Baby Metal. Because generally the way it works, and this is just from what I, my observations of when I've seen bands, bands travel, um, you know, obviously with all their musicians. Uh, but they also have sound people that come with them. Yeah, they have so, the crew. And... Depending on what you have, what uh, what co you know, contract you may have with the venue owner, that you know, you may they may work hand in hand with like a, a, a house sound person, or they may actually take over the boards completely. Um, a, a majority of the time, a lot of these musicians have in ear monitors. Everything runs through a certain cabinet. They already have pre captured sounds and mixes and everything and all the sound people have to do is plug in all their stuff and then they could so I, I would imagine it's something close to that to where they can take their sound and go anywhere and just plug and play into whatever house sound they have and make it work whoever does their sound is amazing it's just like uh when we listen to love bites yeah amazing sound their amazing live sound it's incredible uh this seemed to me very uh very like I wouldn't say it was bad because it's not at all bad. It sounded raw and it felt pitch perfect, even though how raw it was, mm -hmm. there was no problems there. The, the band is just so spectacular. Uh, and, and Sue's vocal is so spectacular, but what really struck me is the sound of the drums and the overall mix of the guitars and the yeah. vocals, everything was absolutely perfect. That was the perfect mix. And I just can't get over how great it sounded. Uh, I love the song too. And then of course, you know, we got to see uh, a whole audience turn from yeah. being indifferent. From, I mean, from a, I mean, there was a couple of fans almost sarcastically dancing to them, right? Goofing around. <laughs> yeah, there was a, there was a couple of fans. There were a couple of people, and but I think a lot of people were not sure what to expect. Well, yeah, you see these little girls are in the middle then, of a metal font concert. I don't know what kind of concert the Sonosphere was. Sonosphere is a festival. You know, it caters mostly to you know heavy bands from all over the world. But yes, uh, I love it. I think it was great watching them turn an entire crowd to their to their whim uh it definitely seems to be like one of their superpowers but in the meantime we are offset era we are two-thirds of offset era based out of sunny southwest florida all original punk core band if you want to know what that means go check out our music we have an original playlist on our youtube channel go and, check it out and we our music is available in all digital platform streamings itunes spotify google plus yep that fun stuff our most recent EP, A New Era, has been out for about seven months, yep. and we are hard at work at a follow-up. Yep, got some new music out on the channel as well, <clears throat> so make sure you go check that out. Two videos will pop up at the end of this one. Well, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let us know what you want to see in the next one. And we'll see you then. We'll see you there. Peace out.